right, something different. I don't like it, to say the least. All right, let's go. The part that I don't like is, well, George Springer, yes, I know I said that he did sound with the Blue Jays, but the thing that I'm wondering, the thing that I don't like is, yes, he cheated, but why do people, not, here's a George Springer 18 down Russ out of 359, but I know Altuve did some things, but they all cheated, they should all be ridiculed, like, I don't get it, okay, also, okay, I like it, the Mets got a new GM, what was his name, oh Jesus, Scott, his, first, his last name is Scott, oh my gosh, I forgot his name, but okay, and his first move was pretty good, signing Aaron Loop to a one-year deal, Aaron Loop is one of the most, if not the most underrated uh, relievers in the game, and he's really good, he's really good, so I would really, really like to see him pitch this year for the Mets, and I'm happy, that's a good signing by Scott. What the, what the heck is his name? Oh, Jesus. What's his name? What's his name? Something Scott. Something, something. Every time I hear the last name Scott, I think of John Scott. And that certainly didn't hire John Scott. <laughs> also, I'm going to rip this once I have 300 subs. So, hit that sub button if you haven't already. Oh, my gosh. What is it? What is it? What is it? Something, something, what the heck? Am I blanking on this? Oh my gosh, yeah, whatever. I'll get it, but, um, so, interesting. Interesting move. And the Islanders, I saw an article today about the Islanders last night, and it said that they did lose to the to an AHL team. That's true, because, like, 99% of the players on the Capitals were AHLers, so that makes me feel just great. Definitely. So that's something. And Justin Schultz, who was a decent penguin, he had a really good night. And watch out, I mean, he's having a really awesome season. Definitely. He's on he's doing really well. So don't be surprised if he wins the Norris or something this year, you know, or is in the Norris voting. Um he's always been a guy that's kind of been underrated, but this year I mean he hasn't played much of Washington, but he's definitely been pretty solid. Um you know, when Vitek Vanitek, I demand you to vote to go buy his young guns. No, not, not, not demand. But still, they're like between 5 and t 10 bucks on eBay. Depends on the shipping. But he's 3 and 0 with like a 950 save percentage. He is nuts. And considering Sam Sonov is out, he's been really good. Really good. And the Caps, I love that Craig Anderson signing because you can't have. A rookie goalie and a sophomore goalie. You just can't have that. So I think the signing of Craig Anderson, which happened, I think, two months ago, was really great, great move by the Caps. Peter Laviolette, the Caps coach, used to coach the Islanders, coach him for a year. He's probably L-M-A-O, if you don't know what that means. Well, sure you do. He's probably laughing as hard as he can because... He gets a win against his old team, and Varlamov's first loss is against his old team, so that's that. The Caps are an interesting team. I mean, even, I, I really thought we would beat them, but, I mean, they got a lot of guys on there that are good. You know, even meh players. Like, a guy that I feel like really stepped up when OB was out last night was probably um, Daniel Sprong, who has got a wicked wrist shot. It's really underrated. His young guns are like five bucks on eBay, so... Don't pass up on, like, if you see a sprung young that's like, $3, you know, plus, like, a buck fifty shipping. I mean, it depends if you want to get it, but I definitely recommend getting it. It's one of the, one of the, one of the, uh, better ones. So, yeah. Um, is that how it's gonna end? Uh, well, the Yankees, they signed Tyone, and who was that other guy they signed? Oh, I forget, but you know what? I'm tired. <laughs> uh, I'll come back. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm trying to think, trying to think. Yeah, I don't remember. But again, Aaron Luke, that's solid. That's definitely solid. 
I mean, guys, just think about it. If the Mets didn't trade Andres Jimenez and say they traded another, say they traded like, um, who's a Mets prospect? Maybe Ali Sanchez. Ali Sanchez. Then imagine our lineup would be Dom Smith at first, Alonzo DH, catcher McCann, starting pitcher DeGrom, and our rotation would be filthy. Second base McNeil. Shortstop would be he would be Lindor. Third base would be Jimenez. Center field would be Conforto. Right field Haredi and left field would have to be uh J D Davis. That would be disgusting. Oh, the Buffalo. I, that's what I was gonna say. The Buffalo. The Buffalo. Legendary Buffalo. He's off to Detroit. Buffalo becomes a Tiger, and I don't know if that's an upgrade or anything, but. I feel like it's a solid move. Wilson Ramos, filthy 2019 year with the Mets. 2020, terrible year. But uh, definitely a really underrated signing because a veteran catcher knows the game baseball so well. That is a huge signing. And if he, and if he can play the, the 2019 Mets, Wilson Ramos, they got a really good year in a contract. So even if he doesn't pan out, he's still got one of the best, if not the best, um, um, Oh, over 35 year old catchers in baseball you know he's so good um so a hugely great signing uh thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss a video also i sent some cards into psa i think it was in march or april psa is whack so you know with the everything with the Oh, yeah, it's going to take, like, 20 years to get it back. But, anyways, see you later, guys. Have a great night, folks. And I'll see you in the next vid. Peace out. Good night, everybody.